Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So it is official. America has finally seen Harry for the whining, moaning hypocrite that he factually is. So Fox hosts on Fox News have basically said that Harry should be tarred and he should be feathered and basically hung out to dry which is true. That's exactly what we want to do to him. This is an independent article. And to start off with, it covers how people are now beginning to feel about Harry and his unnecessary opinions about the press, the media and freedom of speech, all of which he doesn't want any of us to have. Fox News hosts and guests have slammed Prince Harry over his First Amendment comments. The Duke of Sussex sparked controversy when he told podcast host Dax that he thought the amendment to the Constitution which protects basic rights like free speech was bonkers and commentators on the right-wing channel, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch, were quick to heap scorn on Harry. Conservative commentator Jesse Waters mocked Harry for complaining about the press more than Donald Trump. Well, if he thinks the First Amendment is bonkers, wait till he hears about the second one. This guy complains about the press more than Donald Trump. Is he a member of the royal family? I didn't think royals were allowed to complain. Nobody else in his family complains about anything except the climate, I guess. Waters then suggested that Harry should see a shrink and even compared him to Dr. Anthony Fauci. Why is he talking so much? Keep it inside a little bit. See a shrink. Don't do every interview. He's like Fauci. Another host, Sean Hannity, said, Harry, we really don't need you coming from England to give us lectures on the First Amendment. And if you can't understand the importance of free expression and the importance of constitutional principles that allow for a free exchange of ideas and opinions that make America the greatest country on earth, then maybe it's time for you to move to a place more compatible with your restrictive concepts. And that's exactly what it is. Harry doesn't want human beings to exercise their human rights, to have freedom of speech, freedom of press, to voice our thoughts and feelings because it is a threat to him. It's threatening to him and it's threatening to Megan because of course they're not liked, they're not popular, they cannot use social media platforms like YouTube or Instagram because people will simply swamp their comment section with their thoughts and feelings of what they really feel like how you guys comment on my youtube videos and various other youtube videos on this platform just expressing yourselves literally speaking your minds they do not want that and that's what makes harry and megan extremely irritating because they do not want us to be able to have an opinion, which is an alien concept. It's mind boggling, really, when you actually think about it. So I'm going to go on here. Hannity also said that the same First Amendment allowed you and your wife to trash your own family. In the Oprah Winfrey interview, you and Meghan were allowed to accuse your family of racism. Greg Gutfield also took a shot at Harry and his wife Megan. The guy claims that he hates the press and paparazzi, so I know what I'll do. I'll move to Hollywood with a fame-hungry actress, he added. That is not fleeing the paparazzi. They know exactly what they are doing. Harry told Shepard on his podcast that he had been shocked by the media feed and frenzy around he and Meghan after they moved to a luxurious mansion in Beverly Hills. I don't want to start going down the First Amendment route because that's a huge subject and one which I don't understand because I've only been here a short time, he said. But you can find a loophole in anything. You can capitalise or exploit what's not said rather than uphold what is said. The First Amendment protects a string of basic freedoms under the US Constitution, including freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, the right to assemble, the right to petition the government, etc, etc. Fox News host Laura Ingram also tweeted, Don't let the doorknob hit you on your way out. The publisher of The Federalist also blasted Harry when he appeared as a guest on Fox News. The reality is that Prince Harry should be tarred and feathered and sent back to his grandma. He is not someone who appreciates anything that makes America great. 
And he added, the royals are yet another decaying Western institution, morally and financially bankrupt. I think we ought to dump Prince Harry into Boston Harbour, along with all the tea. So Harry really has been mocked and dragged. And I don't agree with everything he said about the real firm being an archaic institution, even though that's exactly what Meghan and Harry have pinned it as. They've pinned it as an archaic institution but what I do agree with is the fact that Harry likes to make comments and make assumptions about changes that he feels he needs to see in the world which no one invited him to comment on which no one asked him for we do not care about what Harry feels about the first amendment we don't even care about what Harry feels about his brother or Kate or William, or their children, or the future of the monarchy. Seeing as Harry has felt the need to step down from the only real viable job that he will ever be qualified to do, which is to serve in the royal firm, which should be a great honour for someone like Prince Harry, he has no real purpose. And he is pretty much someone who is just floating around in Hollywood, an empty, soulless entity, who wants to take aim at everything and anything that represents institutional construct and represents rules and regulations that he himself has no control or power over. He had a tantrum over here in the UK about the press and the media and the stories that were being written about him and his wife, Meghan. And he decided to stomp his little feet and basically uproot his whole family and leave because he had no control over the royal firm and he was jealous of William's line in succession to the throne and he was resentful of the fact that he was pushed so far down in the line of succession that he would never ever get his hands on the throne and I do honestly believe that Harry is trying to make some kind of significant dent and impact upon this world by having all of these thoughts, feelings and opinions that no one has asked for and then his main source of income is to obviously trash his dad, trash his grandfather indirectly, trash his grandmother indirectly and trash his brother and sister-in-law. Harry wants to destroy the royal family and he also wants to destroy our freedom of speech. So I urge anybody who's watching this video to be very aware of the malicious intentions of Meghan and Harry to stop us from being able to have thoughts and feelings. And you can only imagine what Meghan Markle would do if she really did become President of the United States of America. She would attack social media. She would attack platforms like YouTube. She would definitely try and get rid of Instagram and Twitter and all of the other platforms whereby she is outed as the narcissist that she truly is. Harry has evolved into a nasty character and he's going to get everything that's coming to him. With all that being said, I'll be back with another video. Bye guys.